Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today, this video, not gonna be a fishing video, gonna be a cooking video. We're gonna be cooking up some fish, gonna be cooking up some walleye here. Got some walleye thawing out. Um, pretty sure those guys are from the Lake of the Woods video, um, the one we cut that sturgeon. But yes, yeah, so you guys wanna go watch us catch those fish, you can go head over to either of the Lake of the Woods videos. Um, that's where these fish are from. But uh, we're going to be cooking some fish in a little different way this time. Um, we're going to be cooking them normal, just deep frying them in oil. But uh, we're going to add a little spice up to um, to the way we cook these fish. We're going to be cooking them two different ways, uh, both a little different. First off, right here, we got Dots pretzels. Um, we're going to be using this as breading and just trying that out. Um, got the honey mustard right here. A version of Dots pretzels. Uh, I know if you guys want to use um, normal Dots pretzels, just the original seasoning or uh, original flavor pretzels that um, Fish and More, he did a video, Catch and Cook, on using the original one. So if you guys want to, it's kind of where I got this idea. Uh, got it from him. I'm going to be trying the honey mustard version, although I should have got the Southwest version because that would probably be a little bit better. Um, for fish, but if you guys want to go check out his video, try the original, I'll drop that in the link below, um, or in the bio below. But uh, the second version we got here, that's gonna be Mr. Frank's Red Hot. Now I know I have, I think I have cooked with Frank's Red Hot before, but before I had just done flour and Frank's Red Hot, and then just fried that in oil. But we're gonna be doing it up a little bit different here. Saw this on the show, Me Eater, uh, Jay Siemens. First off, we're gonna bread it in just some normal batter. Uh, we're gonna be using beer batter from the Back and 40. I don't know if you ever heard that brand. Um, so we're gonna bread the fish up, cook them up all the way, and then we're gonna toss them in, in some uh, buffalo, and I'm gonna cook up some little sauce, and we're gonna toss them. Just make them just like little chicken nuggets. Um, so, yeah. That's what's on the agenda for today. We're gonna get this fish thought out. We're gonna get everything made up and we're gonna get cooking. All right, fish is all thought out. We're gonna skin them up. And I got the whole process set up here. I gotta get a little egg wash here yet. Yeah. There's the batter for the dots just the normal beer batter got the oil gonna get that start getting hot and then here in the pan i'll go a little more in depth here but it's just butter cream cheese and franks and we'll <clears throat> focus on that sauce a little bit later we're gonna get these fish skinned up and ready to get in the oil All right, got all the fish cleaned up. And as you can see here, <clears throat> I don't know if you could tell during the video, but I was putting this fish up um, in the two different types of pieces. This side over here is our nice thick pieces. Um, and that's what we're gonna be using the Frank's Red Hot and battering those up in. Um, and then you got the other pieces, just your normal fillets, nice and skinny fillets. So give them here, gonna pat them dry a little bit. Then we're gonna drop them in the egg wash, give them a little egg wash. Uh, I like to use egg and milk. You can just use water, but um, I don't know. I think the egg just makes it stick better, but you can do whatever. So we're gonna give these a little egg wash, then we're gonna throw them in the batter and we're get them in the oil. I got some battered up. I'm gonna put her in the grease. Get the old sizzle going. Fortunately, I don't ran out of grease, so I didn't have enough in here, so I gotta Really make sure I can get grease on, on top and bottom the whole time. We're just getting in these nice thick fillets right now. These are the thick ones too, so they, they're a little bigger. They stick out of the grease a little bit more. What else do I got more in here? Yeah, looks like one more. One more. Is that it? one more hiding in there nope all right got those ones sizzling this is actually the second batch here get this grease cover on it 
This is the first, well, actually this was the first batch. Just made up some quick ones just to test the grease. Tastes pretty good for just being plain. These ones right here, these are the first batch of the nice thick ones. Gonna get them in this sauce. I just got some butter, a little bit of cream cheese. That's what those white chunks are. I was hoping these would break down and melt a little bit more, but it's not looking like they're gonna, but a little bit, a little bit of it did. So this is our sauce right here. We're just gonna let that heat up. We just got that on low. This little cream cheese, butter, and Frank's. Got that going. Oh, Diesel, you like your little bed down there? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nice. You are going to get burnt by hot grease. This hot grease is going to splatter you. All right. I'm going to finish cooking those. Looks like I got to turn it up a little bit. Grease is getting a little cold after you put a couple fillets in it. Cools down. So cook these up. And we still got to butter and get all these. And some dots right here. We got, this is our bread and now. So that'll be our next mission. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is the moment. I don't know if you've been waiting for it, but I've been waiting for it. I'm hungry. I've been cooking up fish for a long time. This stuff is not really breaking down like I hoped it would. Cream cheese is kind of staying in those little chunks. That don't matter though. I'm gonna throw it in there. I'm gonna take this whole plate whole plate of big fillets drop them in there drop them in there and we're gonna mix them around get them all nice and coated in this sauce uh, I'm nervous up flip them around like this I definitely need a lot more sauce in there so I'm gonna put more sauce and a little bit more butter in there we're gonna get them going these guys, oh, these guys are about done. This oil is getting dark. I don't know if the if it's from the pretzel or what it's really from here, but just from maybe burning it, the oil might have been a little hot. But um, I guess I never showed you guys. This is what the fish looks like, battered up in the dots home style right there. Um, Looks like it sticks pretty good. I mean, I blended it down, so it should be good. Um, here's some turnout pieces. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. And even side by side. This is the whole plate here. See with these, I took a little bit extra of the batter and sprinkled it over there, like a little seasoning. Oh God, I'm so tempted to eat it. Um, we're gonna get some more sauce on this, and then we're gonna get these guys nice and lathered up in some good, good. Oh yeah, yep, yes, sir. This looks good. This is a lot of fish. <laughs> kind of was just cooking for myself here, but um, yeah, we got two piles of fish right here, so I am ready to dig in. I am very hungry, but I definitely will not be finishing all this fish right here. Um, so I'm actually gonna get a little quick thumbnail, and then we're gonna get to the taste. Oh, all right, let's dig in. I'm ready. What do we start off with? I think we're gonna start off with the good old dots. It's a little more subtle. I'm um, gonna take a piece here. Take a piece here just to bite without the little dusting on top. See if we can even taste it. Mmm. You know, you can't really taste the honey mustard. Tastes like a normal batter. Pretty good. All right, let's get a little bite with some dust in on here. Still not too much. Mmm. You definitely need some dusting on there a little extra because just the batter alone it doesn't really come through too well fish tastes amazing everything still tastes amazing here but i think you get that you can throw that on a fish sandwich throw it with some tartar sauce it'll be pretty good 
kind of subtle, but you can tell. I mean, the it works as batter, so it's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right, this is what I've been waiting for now. Right here, these are pretty much a little boneless buffalo fish bites right here. Mm. Oh my God, that is actually so good. <laughs> oh yeah. You wanna come taste? I do stuff. Take a bite. Mm. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. That is all actually so good. It's just like little it didn't taste like fish. boneless wings. That's what it tastes like. Why is it so hard to get so like thick? You know? I just took the thickest pieces of the fish. Because mm. the recipe I saw for this, you're supposed to use pike. Yeah. And it's a nice thick piece of meat. That's good. So I just took the thickest part. Wow, that is really good. It'll be good with it. I could dip it in some ranch, even tartar sauce too. Mmm. I've been giving that nine out of 10. Honestly tastes like buffalo wings from, boneless buffalo wings from B-dubs or something like that. For the dots, I mean, it's solid. I wouldn't say as good as that, but it's just, the flavor's not as bold. Just playing out. Um, if you get a lot of that dusting on there, then you can somewhat taste the honey mustard. But other than that, the batter does its job. And if you just want normal fried fish, I mean, maybe you can taste it. Just a hint of the honey mustard there. It's a little sweeter. But other than that, just a normal all around good fried up fish, I guess you could say. I'm going to give that like a 7 out of 10. And yeah, like I said, for this 9. This is one of my favorite ways to cook fish or eat fish for sure. This is up there. Mm. Oh, so nice when you take all that time. Catch the fish, clean the fish. Get it ready to cook batter it, put in an egg wash or whatever, throw it in the grease, get it out the right time, throw it in the sauce, then finally get to eat it. All your hard work pays off. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little cooking session. Um, hopefully we can get out on some fish and start catching them. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it. If you guys enjoyed, as always, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys later.